Good morning, folks. We've got several visualizations to check out today, a good solar forcing paper as well, big earthquake near the Caribbean, and of course, we'll be starting with our star. Don't forget, videos will be sporadic this week because it's family vacation time right now, but we are here today, so let's take a peek at the last 24 hours on the sun. Minor M-class solar flare activity, but nothing major coming our way. In fact, the most interesting space weather event over the last day was actually an eruption that took place over the departing limb. You can see that here in 304 angstroms. It was a pretty strong release back there, and while not aimed at Earth, it did cause energetic protons to hit Earth through the interplanetary magnetic field. Still minor and well below even the lowest alert levels. Top seismic event in a while struck the Northeast Caribbean yesterday. Luckily, the 6.6 .6 magnitude shake was out to sea, minimizing the shaking felt at the populated islands nearby. Let's go to some eye candy up next. A fly-through visualization of the galaxies towards the recently discovered most earliest galaxy known. The changing appearance of the galaxies is the evolution indicating they're seeing them at earlier and earlier stages of their progression. By the way, the last one is so early in their cosmological timescale it pushes back against what they thought was possible at that stage. Fun visualization up next, showing how ocean level changes are more than they appear, and I don't mean in the one direction of sea level rise you hear on the news. There are constantly areas where the ocean is higher and where the ocean is lower over time. Well, perhaps what they tell us on the news is a bit overblown. Same goes with the ice loss at the Antarctic. Veteran observers likely recall our expose of the discovery of major volcanic activity beneath the melt zones. Otherwise, there's actually been an expansion of ice at the South Pole. Only melting zones here are where those volcanoes are found. Last but not least, folks, another excellent peek at the ever-growing volume of papers indicating the importance of the sun for atmospheric processes. In this case, it's the South Asian jet wave train and its decadal variability tied very much to solar cycles, which ends up impacting the monsoon temperatures and, therefore, crop areas that feed about 4 or 5 billion people. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the resources below the video in the description box. When we return, it will be right here, and right now at 6.30 a.m. in hot, humid Houston, Texas. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.